everyone, and welcome to another episode of Thrallish Nations. This is episode 13. Uh, last time we did a bunch of farming in the industrial area. We're going to do a ton more. I want to start in an iron farm pretty soon. And I also want to get started on a general mob farm after we have the iron farm because I need a lot of iron. Need some hoppers, you know, that sort of thing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but between episodes, I've been a busy little bee again with my little bug wings. Um, I have been traveling around the nether, and I've got enough uh, wither skeleton skulls to make a wither. So uh, at some point today, we're going to be trying that out. Uh, but I think for right now, what we're going to do is we're going to start... Oh, let me put this back in the ender chest, actually. Uh, today, we're going to start uh, putting some blocks down because... We haven't uh, done block placing in a fair amount of time. I've been trying to deal with these stupid villagers who I'm probably going to throw in the iron farm because they they, they bother me. <laughs> they annoy me. You get banished to the iron farm. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll throw those guys in the iron farm and pick this boat up. Uh, let's put it over here for now. And um, so we're going to travel to... Actually, I think I want to build the iron farm. Look at me, getting tongue-tied and twisted and everything already. <laughs> I want to put the iron farm in the spawn chunks, uh, which are... I think I spawn in over there-ish, somewhere over there. Um, so I, I think I'm just going to dig an area underground and uh, and let it be underground, which is why I want the wither, uh, the, the, the beacon. I want the beacon because I want I want to dig out... A massive place down to bedrock <laughs> because uh yeah i, I want to be able to tear this farm if i can um which which i know i can i just i would like to you know what whatever let's uh, let's let's get to play some blocks <laughs> well before we can place any blocks we got to come back here uh because i need a lot of stone <laughs> and i totally forgot that we needed this much stone i set this thing up to you know kind of your basic uh smelting array it's not the best or the you know the quickest the most efficient any of that sort of stuff i wonder if i have oh, i got a ton of cobble in here awesome so if we do need more we can whoops i don't know how buttons work if we do need more we can come back and we can grab some more this thing should run for a bit and uh yeah so let's get back to it oh oh my that is the largest pillager patrol i've ever seen ever Holy cow. Uh, let's see if we can't take some of these guys out from a distance, eh? Uh, yeah. Wow, that's amazing. I usually see like three or four of them, not like eight. <laughs> or however many, how many that was. Um, where's the other dude? There he is. Oh. It's funny, it, when they hit you, your shield stops blocking. Is that normal? Is that normal for shield use? Alright, come here. Ah. Whew. Wow, that was amazing. I have never seen a patrol that big. <laughs> oh, man. All right, now that we've been rudely interrupted, let's get back to what we were doing. Well, after that unnecessary interruption, uh, we've got the banner planted there, so if they, you know, respawn again, they'll see that uh, I'm part of their troop, so, you know, they'll just leave us alone. That's how that works, right? Uh, <laughs> so what I'm doing right now is uh, we are going to be building a... Um, what is this called? Uh, like a like a like a pier, like a dock, you know that sort of thing. Um, so I'm just you know placing some stone, placing some alternating blocks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, probably cap a lot of these off with stone brick, um, and then keep the stone going in certain locations. And uh, then when I get to the fourth, uh, do I want to do it like this? Yeah, I think that'll be fine. I think that should be fine. Um, and then we'll just, you know, keep this going. And uh, I've got an andesite block in there somewhere, don't I? Yeah, oh, screw it. Let's put it there. <laughs> so, yeah, I've got, you know, logs and then four stone and then log and four stone, log, four stone, log, four stone, yada, yada, yada. And we're going to do this all the way around this little bay area. Um, just kind of representing uh, a makeshift. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, a makeshift um, pier that uh, these quote-unquote primitive people would have built themselves. Uh, primitive people that actually understand the uh, uh, the premise of, 
using stone and, and cutting it and making it look nice. <laughs> I really shouldn't say primitive. They're really not. But anywho, uh, I'm going to continue this pattern all the way around, probably right up to there. And uh, maybe till, oh, geez, till about one of these two sand blocks, probably. And uh, then we'll have, you know, the, the makings of a of a of a dock and then we'll put some you know some actual docks going out um and i'm not entirely sure what i want to do back here yet i've been thinking maybe uh continuing a pattern like this uh if you watch my last survival series you'll know exactly what i'm talking about well i'll just kind of come out a little bit this way uh i might bring this up another block or two which is gonna probably be too tall because i was thinking about having a uh, like a walkway right here so you could walk along the, the, the side of this before you actually hit uh, a dock that goes out or a pier whatever they're called uh, correct me in the comments <laughs> what's on what's what and who's who um, yeah so then we can have places where there's some barrels and chests etc etc lining the pier um, <clears throat> but I'm, I'm not 100% sure yet on what I want to do you know I might want this to come out Oh, let's try that again. I might want this guy to come out. Let's try it. Oh, oh that's right. <laughs> uh, and I don't have any of that on me, so let's use stone. And we'll put that there. I think I like that better, where the stone or the wood comes out. Uh, let's grab some more. Uh, what is that called? It's called sand, folks. This, this yellowish stuff. This is sand. <laughs> oh, boy. Anywho, uh, I'll finish up doing some of this, and uh, we'll get back to it um, once, probably once I'm done with all of it. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. You know, one day, I'm going to get this whole, like, recording thing right, and uh, get it all down and packed, and, you know, when I'm, probably when I'm not such a massive derp, because I'm a massive derp. So I bought this brand new webcam. I was thinking about streaming, you know, using the webcam, yada, yada, yada. And uh, I forgot I had it plugged into my machine. So when I did the last two recordings, which were like 10 to 12 minutes of video, <laughs> the mic <clears throat> for the webcam was on and the mic for my headset was on and it sounded awful. Just, it was so bad. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's our, there's our dock. There's our dock pier. Pier dock. I don't know what it is. <laughs> There's a thing that I built uh, that that is going to house boats. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I got to be honest. Uh, we're going to have to build up a lot of the surrounding area in the back here because I think I would like the land to come up to this level so that when you walk from uh, the, the, the dock, you come up here and then we're on uh, land level here. Land level. Sorry. <laughs> so that just might be a little bit of terraforming on this side and maybe like a, you know, an open market stall here or something like that. I'm not entirely sure yet, but um, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to fill all of this in with an extra two blocks of height. But I went with, you know, um, top slabs here, which I'm kind of kicking myself for. I think on this no, there is a uh, level seven light there, which kind of sucks. But on that side, it dips down to like six in here. And I was thinking about putting glowstone underneath the slabs there and then maybe some trap doors just to give it a little bit more depth as well and then give it a ton of light. Uh, let me know what you think about that, if you think that would be a good idea. Um, and then over here, uh, these are half slabs. They're bottom slabs, so it doesn't matter what the light level is. And then I think later we're going to go with something kind of like this where we have a little bit of... Uh, you know, junk hanging out on the side of the, the pier, maybe in the corners. Um, we might put some, like, right in the middle here that we have to, like, skirt around once we get off of our ships. And then I think I want to put a big ship right here. Um, I might put, like, a small one. I don't know if schooner is the correct term for that. <laughs> and we might put a medium-sized one over here. Uh, but that's that's down the road. I've never done a ship before, and let me tell you... I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm terrified at trying to build, uh, you know, something that looks remotely like that. Um, I might try a, a like a pre-generated Minecraft ship, maybe put that right here, 
um, but I'm not entirely sure yet. I do believe that I want another shipwreck in here. Uh, and if you go to the, the description below and you check out, <clears throat> excuse me, you check out the nation's lore, uh, this is Anthera, and uh, for anybody who's new, and this place is supposed to be wrecked and abandoned. So uh, we're going to put a lighthouse right there, and that lighthouse was broken. Um, so the ships that were trying to dock here probably crashed into a bunch of things. That one happened to crash into the lighthouse. <laughs> so uh, it'll make sense that there's a bunch of shipwrecks in there. But I think for the rest of the video, we're going to... Uh, let's see, where do I have that? I think it's in here. We are going to fight the wither. That's right. We are going to fight the wither. I want a beacon. Um, I, I don't have the, the resources for a beacon yet, <laughs> but that's okay. We're going to fight the wither. We're going to get our beacon, um, and then maybe in the next episode, we'll work on setting up an iron farm because I really, really, really need an iron farm, <laughs> like really bad. This put me back on iron a lot, and it was it's just like maybe it's not even half a stack of lanterns. Like, and that really hurt with iron. So I'm going to go find a spot base that's going to work well for beaconing i'll put all this uh, all these resources away and uh we'll go ahead and fight a wither now for those of you who have never fought the wither before it's uh it's relatively easy uh we're on here near the industrial area um the hardest part about it is finding a place that you might want to be absolutely annihilated and destroyed uh which is why we're coming out here uh, we're going to dig down, um, not straight down, because that's just silly. Um, ooh, do I have torches? I do. Okay, good. <laughs> um, we're going to dig down a ways. I might go to Y11, um, mainly because it, just in case we die, uh, I would like to um, not have this thing immediately thrashing around our world, if that makes sense. <laughs> because if you don't beat the wither um there is a chance for it to just wander around in your world if the chunks are loaded um and it's extremely explosive explosive uh and i mean like very very explosive um its main attacks are like throw head at you that blows up and then you get withered so uh yeah we're gonna dig down until we hit y11 and then uh, we'll set up weather camp. Okay, we are at Y11. Uh, so I'm gonna dig out like a little hidey hole here. Um, and essentially what this is going to be is the, oh crap, we died room. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna throw down the ender chest and a bed. And with the ender chest, whoops. Uh, actually, I probably should put another one of those over there. We are going to grab our backup tools. We're going to grab uh, probably the food box, um, the shulker box that we need for the uh, actual wither fight itself as well. So let's do food, backups. I am going to take my elytra off, put them away, and I'm going to grab my god armor chest plate um, because... The wither hits real hard. <laughs> really, really hard. Um, I might grab some golden carrots instead of the steak for this fight. This fight really shouldn't take that long. It really shouldn't. Um, I'm going to put uh, pick axe. Oh, geez. What else do I not need? I don't really need the wood right now. Um, Let's put... Oh, I don't have my wood box on me. So uh, let's put away all of the different things that I don't really need at the moment. Uh, let's see. Anything else? I don't need the scaffolding. I'm not going to need the rockets. We'll keep the water bucket just in case. And I do need all these torches. I should have brought some more, but that's okay. All right. So we've got our pick. We've got our bow and arrow. That's totally fine. Uh, I'm going to mine this way probably... A about 30 or 40 blocks so let's start here and we're facing towards positive z so we're gonna go to 358 if you listen real close you can hear lava so i'm gonna start going the other way because i don't want to end up anywhere near any lava so we're gonna head off 
in this direction instead. So, I went off in that direction, mined for a while, uh, I definitely got 50 blocks, and there was a big old cave system. Uh, a big, 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 big cave system. I, I haven't even explored all of it. <laughs> uh, there's some more iron, and actually, let me take these out and put them in here. But, uh, yeah, I, I was not expecting that at all. Um, I might actually just plop the weather... weather. <laughs> I might just plop the wither down in there because I started to go this way and there's lava that way too. I could go behind the stairs, but whatever. Um, if the wither starts coming at us while we're in a cave, that's really not a big deal. It just needs to start coming at us, if that makes sense. Um, mainly, uh, mainly what I don't want it to do is to go after mobs um, because... Oh, there's a creeper back there. Hello. <clears throat> go away. Go away, please. Go away. Uh, because I don't want it to just, like, wander off in its own direction here. I want it to go towards us. Um, and the reason... Wow, what's with all the creepers? <laughs> uh, the reason for that is... I, I would like to quasi-control it. Um, I know I'm not going to be able to actually control the, the Wither's decisions and directions. Um, because... It kind of has a mind of its own. <laughs> and as you can see, I've lit this cave up extremely well as I've explored it. So uh, let me go ahead and set up Wither Camp, uh, actual Wither Camp, like fighting the Wither Camp. And I will be right back. All right. For those of you who haven't uh, fought the Wither again, um, a lot of stuff's about to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build like a little cross almost here. As you can tell, I put almost everything away because if I die... I would honestly like to um, not have all of my stuff exploded. Uh, I would like to see if I can sleep, though. That would be kind of nice. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, as I was saying, a lot's going to happen right now. Um, I am going to place the last head on top of this thing, and it is going to turn into the wither. It's going to kind of like pulsate for a little bit um, and then explode. And what we need to do is kind of get out of the area while it's pulsating and exploding. <laughs> but we also want it to um, see us and come towards us. I'm just going to spam a few more torches around here. Um, the wither will pathfind to other mobs. And I'm pretty sure it'll pathfind to other mobs that it can't draw a line of sight to. Uh, which is kind of weird, but hey, what can you do? It's, it's cheeky and it's cheaty. Um, I have some uh, potions in my night bar, my night bar, <laughs> in my hot bar, sorry, um, and I'm going to take them, uh, I'm going to take this one now, because I think this is the eight minute, it is, this is the eight minute variety, um, and then I will, uh, after the wither spawns and it sees me, I'll probably take this one, and then if I need to, I have this one on deck as well. So let me take this guy. And then we'll plop this here and the wither. Okay, so now it's invulnerable. When it's doing that little shiny thingy, uh, it is invulnerable. Now it's going to explode in just a second. Let me back up a little bit more. Ouch. Okay. So we need it to look at us. Hey, come here. Ow. All right, so we are being withered. I'm going to take our regen potion. All right, where'd this stupid thing go? Uh, let me put these back. Oh, there it is. Found it. <laughs> Alright, so we want this thing, like I said, to come after us. Let me put this down as well. And, uh, we're not doing too terrible. We're not doing too great, either. Um, <laughs> so we just are gonna beat the snot out of this thing. I can hit it from afar if I want to. Um, I'd rather it didn't go towards all of my stuff, to be honest. Let's do a regen potion and get some golden apples. Jeez, get out of here. Run, 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 run. All right. Uh, let's hit it from afar. I'm glad it hasn't found anything else to fight but us. But once it gets that shiny, uh, it is now invulnerable to um, projectiles. Wow, I might die here. Run away! Splash potion! Okay. Whew. 
Ooh, that was close. <laughs> and yeah. So now we just gotta smack this thing until it dies. We're pretty close. And now that I'm in my hidey hole, this will be a lot easier. And there we go. Withered. Let's set up some torches because it is now dark in here. Um, I gotta make sure that I don't die from the wither effect either. Because that would be embarrassing. <laughs> we do all this fighting and stuff. And uh, then the stupid wither effect takes us down. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so we survived the wither. And we have ourselves a nether star. Look at that. So that right there is going to make us a beacon. I think it's just some obsidian and some glass. Um, let me gather up all this stuff too and get all these nice ores that have been uh, uh, exposed for us. I made this cave a little bigger. <laughs> but uh, whew, that was a wither fight, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, geez, that uh, went a little hairy than the last series that I did before. But um, no, it was pretty good. So let me gather up this, these materials, uh, gather up all of my stuff that's over here in the, uh, the wither hole, and I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, these guys pop up out of nowhere all the friggin' time. I just got out of the wither hole. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there's not much that feels better than a clean inventory after a long expedition. A clean inventory with our first beautiful nether star absolutely wonderful stuff we're gonna have to set up a beacon real quick but before we do that we're gonna need ourselves an iron farm because uh i really don't have a lot of iron at all <laughs> i really don't um i i think you know what we just mined out it was maybe maybe a stack of iron blocks and that's about it that's that's I'm really hurting for iron. <laughs> but uh, that is unfortunately all the time that we have for this episode. Um, we've got a bit done here out front. Let's see if I can take off from the water here. Can I take off? There we go. Wasted a rocket, but hey. Got a bit done here in our bay area. We got our dock set up, which is awesome. Um, a work off camera getting the, the back side of this put in so that way... Um, you know, it, it's kind of flush with the dock itself. And then uh, we've got all this room here for Anthera still. And I got way too many ideas brewing in my brain box. We are nowhere near done with this series, folks. Even though I took a week off. Sorry about that. Had some personal issue stuff. But, uh, yeah, that is going to do it for this episode of Nations. Make sure to like if you like the video. Subscribe. Keep updated with all our Nations craziness. And we'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.